toolpath transformation has been greatly improved for PowerMill 2011. Moving, rotating and mirroring of toolpaths is now simple and easy to do. Also a new multiple toolpath transformation option has been introduced which allows us to quickly and simply create rectangular grid of toolpaths or a circular grid of toolpaths. Let's open an example project and take a look at some of these new toolpath transformation options. In this simple tread mould we have two toolpaths, a roughing toolpath and a finishing toolpath. We're now going to mirror and transform this toolpath to give us the complete mould. So to do this we need to select both of the toolpaths, right click on the toolpaths and say edit transform. The new improved toolpath transformation toolbar pops up and the first thing we need to do is mirror both the roughing and the finishing toolpath about the center line of the tread mold to give us the opposite side. You'll notice that the actual toolpaths on the screen have turned to a light blue color. This is an indication to the user that these are the selected toolpaths that we are going to be doing the transformations on. So I'm going to switch on a work plane called NC which is in the center of our tread. And the first thing we're going to do is simply mirror the toolpaths about the center line. So we're going to reposition our move origin or our mirror origin and snap it to the work plane and we want to mirror around the ZY axis so click on YZ so there we can see the original toolpath in blue and the mirrored copy which is highlighted in pink the next thing we need to do is create multiple copies rotated about the center of the wheel axis so we have a work plane which is at the center of the wheel so to do this we're going to use the new multiple transformation and we can either create a rectangular array or a circular array so let's look from above so here we can see a rectangular array and we can just dynamically drag the distance and we can increase the amount of copies we want in both X and Y and if we want to we can remove the center so we just have an outer profile. For this example we want to do a circular array so we're going to swap to the circular tab change to an isometric view now we want our circular array to be about the center of our wheel axis so we're going to pick up the anchor